So the other day I asked 14 Bad Wars YouTubers for tips and Bad Wars and tried them out. Some of them were really helpful, some were just absolute trollage. This video is part two of a multi-part series, so if you didn't catch the first video, check out the link in the description below and watch it. Now these videos are not in any particular order, so you can watch them in any order that you want. The first video had such an overwhelming response that I had some other YouTuber friends send over more tips, so expect more tip videos coming soon. With that in mind, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss them. Special thanks to Rainway, Bandai, Maddie, Speck, Rectway, Kyrie, Mini Bloxia, ABC Dino, Mango Pool, Mr. Bouchot, Truck Hitter, Talanthric, Jimbo Slice, and CKF for taking out the time to bring their wisdom and trollage. You can check out the links to their channels in the description below. So let's jump straight into it, starting with a tip from Mr. Bouchot himself. And you may have seen this before on my channel already, but Mr. Bouchot says if you have a full team of fishermen kit, you can easily get tier three generator within minutes. I think that's fun. So one of my most popular videos is a four fisherman team, and he's right, you can get tier three really fast. I also hosted the first fishing tournament. If you didn't see that video, it's a lot of fun. Might do a second one. Who knows? But it's been a while since we've done this full team of fishermen. So let's see how fast we can get to tier three. So fishing is like, it doesn't feel like you're playing bedwars when you're fishing. It's kind of crazy. Like it feels like you're just playing a totally separate game. We got some M's. Get the M's. Nice. We can get some obby. Let's go and put some obby in so they can't break our bed so easily. Now you'd never know there's obby here. Okay, maybe you will. Give me goldfish. Okay, we got diamonds at least. We can use the diamonds. Nice, we got eight. Oh, and we got three from them. Gonna get tier two. Diamonds again, give me diamonds again. So we're at tier two so far. We're supposed to get to tier three as fast as we can. It's all, It's been two minutes and 45 seconds. I need like a couple more. Oh, we got it again, we got diamonds again. It's now three minutes and 24 seconds. Okay, we got eight. Where's the other ones? I just put the other ones here. Oh no, we, we could have just gotten it. Is it getting tier three? Nice, we got tier three at under four minutes. Now I've seen faster, but we just didn't have the luck. Get out of here. Four more diamonds. Boom, we got nine. So we can go ahead and get, uh, let's go ahead and get the armor. We got our diamond armor. So I want to try to take out their bed real quick. Let's put some TNT on. I brought the wrong axe. Get out of here. Yeah. See us. Burn. Burn him. Get him. Oh, he just jumped off. Oh, he made it. Get out of here. Why aren't you dead yet? There we go. Now we gotta get Till. She stream sniped me. She stream sniped me. Get out of here, Till. <laughs> we were playing with Till earlier and she like got into our, our match. This is ranked. GG's. Fisherman for the win. So yeah, we got tier three fast. Rectway gave a tip that I agree with. So he says, regular games, I just recommend getting diamond gen off the bat, then tier one gen. A lot of people don't really upgrade diamond gen that much, and it's highly important to max that out in order to get stacked. I totally agree with this. A lot of people get tier one first. I, I tend to like to get diamond gen instead first, because the nice thing about it is if you get like pushed a lot, you're still gathering diamonds and you're still growing, you're still getting geared. Whereas if you're dying a lot and you, you keep you know streaming out of your base, you're not, you're just basically resetting yourself over and over. But um, this one's pretty easy to do but it can be frustrating in certain modes so let's go ahead and give it a shot all right we got to get diamonds that is our job our requirements and i got enough blocks here to be able to get both gens problem is, is so i've done this like i don't know how many times and for some reason my teammates keep trolling me we got our tier one let's get some kills while we're at it but yeah my teammates keep trolling me taking stuff they're exposing the bed they're griefing us they're taking out blocks they're like trying to cover our blocks get out of here get out of here um they try to they they keep griefing just spam them. Let's just spam them. Keep going. I don't know how many I got to do. They're moving. I should have gotten fire. Fire would be way better. Let's try to get a couple kills. Let's go. I've only got two kills. Oh, nice, nice. Why does he keep going up? He just fell. He just fell. Oh, okay. That guy, did that guy have rage blade? I don't know if it was my teammate or what. I think it was, no, it was them. He has rage blade. Oh, GG's. He died. Spec gave a tip that I once showed in one of my videos and I totally agree with them. He says, you could do the thing where when you break into beds, you cover the blocks behind you. And yeah, that's definitely a great tactic. Now this has been practiced by Bedwars pros for some time now, and that's the wall-in method for bed breaking. The nice thing about this is, you know, people can't get you while you're breaking their bed. So they can't kill you. They can't take you off of it. It's pretty brutal, honestly, but it's also a little challenging to do. It's a little easier in like 30 v 30s. It's a little bit more challenging in squads. So let's go ahead and give it a try though. I like how this guy's name is Minnie and Fulton. I was gonna actually um, ask Fulton for some tips, by the way, and he doesn't have me, um, I don't have him added on Discord. So if anyone knows Fulton, definitely wanna get some tips from him later. All right, so I got a pearl. We're gonna go and pearl over to this other team and break their bed. So green's got their bed pretty much wide open. So we're gonna go pearl over and break it. I got an ax. They're all like gone. Let's pop over. 
They're all gone from their bed. Oh, wait, they're not. They're back. They're back. They're back. They're back. Oh, oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Green is pretty much gone except for one. This guy keeps coming back. Man, he'd be knocked off that bridge right now. If bows were like how they used to be, bows are just so bad now. I mean, if with, if without fireworks, they'd be so bad. Look at this guy. Let's try to... We're, we're going to try to wall in. Let's wall in. Don't come back. Don't come back. No, get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, he got knocked. You got knocked. Oh, I should have upgraded this. Oh, get out of here. Oh, 17. Get out of here. Where is their bed? Where is it at? I totally should have gotten shears. I did not plan this. Oh, they found me. They found me. They found me. They found me. I'm out. I'm out. I can't find their bed. I think it's further in. So we're going to try it again. That was a little too far. Let's TNT it. Yeah, I think it's further in. That's why I didn't find it. Yep. There it is. It's gone. So... Sometimes you got to improvise. You know, I try to do the wall in. That's a good way of doing it. Um, there's other ways of walling in. This is it. This is it. Come on. Come on. Come on. 40. Nice. GG's. Talanthric had a fun tip. He says, okay, here's a cool tip. Spirit catcher plus all four people in squads putting Tesla coils equals impossible to break through bed defense as long as there's stone and blast proof ceramic and stuff. This sounds like a lot of fun, overpowered and lazy. I like it. Let's try it out. Only difference, we're bringing a builder. All right, so we're gonna be Spirit Catcher. Now, unfortunately, Spirit Catcher is an older battle pass, so if you don't have it, rip. All right, here we go. First Tesla on. What is that guy doing? He's like, he, he didn't bring enough blocks. He's regretting that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Wow, you finally made it. Now you're regretting it. <laughs> I think it's DB Chase. He was totally regretting it. Should have went back. All right, one spirit right there. Now the, the bed's pretty much protected for the most part right now. Put another one of these. So we're gonna put four of these on the bed. This guy, man, he doesn't even have, does he have, he doesn't even have armor. Oh, he just got work. He was trying to do the cliffside clutch. They're really desperate. These are actually pretty good players. They're persistent, but they're getting wrecked. <laughs> the, you know, spirits are really, really powerful in this game. I'm telling you, they're like underrated. Get out of here. Oh, you done. Oh, look at that. I see you. I see you, Reaper. I'll be back with you in a minute. Yeah, I'll be back with you in a second. There we go. Oh, wait, there's someone over here too. Oh, he jumped. See you, Reaper. Get some more spirits. We'll replace those. Oh, this guy's coming. They're, they're, they just keep coming back. Laters. And here comes the Reaper. I need one more spirit here. Dude, he's persistent. We're getting hit by blue and yellow right now. Not surprising. Get out of here. So we're going to try to get like fire three. I got fire two. Dang it. I wanted fire three. Oh, we got static three. That'll work. Static three. Nice. Oh, oh, they came in. Did he like, did he just wipe everyone? Yeah, he's still wiping everyone. Dang it. Get out of here. He didn't stay. He couldn't stay. Now right, we're going to try to finish him off. I don't know how low he is. You can't tell. He just killed one of us. So like our bed's actually broken and I've got, I've got to get this guy burning him. So he, cause he keeps ballooning. So I got to burn him. I'm guessing he's kind of low, but I can't tell. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. Try to knock him. Get out of here. Oh, I can't. I got to I got to go. I got to. Oh, no, he killed her. I was so low. I mean, I, I probably could have stayed, but I would have died. All right. We just need a little bit more gear here and we're ready to go. Oh, I see he's burning right there. So I got him. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. I'm going to spam these a little bit. I'm going to get behind this. Oh, he just got launched. <laughs> he just got launched. That's awesome. GG's. Wow. I don't even have emerald armor. Truck hitter, AKA the guy that hasn't hit a truck ever. I'm telling you, I bully him, I know. But he had a practical tip, which is don't over buy. I see a lot of people do this and when they die, it's a waste of iron. So I am totally guilty of this and I should practice this more. Let's go ahead and give it a try. But we're also gonna be trying one other tip and that is from ABC Dino. ABC Dino says, when you're trading hits on sprint, you will normally win the fight with same gear though. So basically what he's saying is if you are sprinting, typically people just hold down and continue to sprint while they're fighting. He's saying to unsprint and you're going to normally win the fight with the same gear and i'm not sure why this is maybe it gives you some stability in your aim i haven't really asked them but we're going to go ahead and give it a shot anyway all right so we're not going to overbuy this time we're just going to get some basic stuff real quick ultimately i just need armor i just wanted the leather armor we didn't even bring like a i typically get a stone sword and stuff we're going to try it without stone sword plus the nice thing about this is you know we don't need even blocks although I think you should bring blocks. I would say armor and blocks if you're on 30 v 30s because the gens are so fast. Otherwise, you're going to come out here and people are going to have iron armor ready. Two of them. I'm going to get some kills. I'm going for the kills. I'm going for the kills. Come on. We got we got one so far. Two. Aw, only two. Hey, I'll take two for the first run. Now, Dino, remember Dino did say when you're trading hits on sprint. So we're going to try that now. All right. So I'm not sprinting anymore. I'm just standing here. Um, when people are running, I do. I'm going to use sprint. There we go. 
Oh my gosh. Let's hop down. Get back here. Get over here. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Ooh. Okay, I'm not sprinting. I'm not sprinting. It's kind of hard. Like, it makes sense. I think for, like, smaller areas, I think what's happening is it's stabilizing the aim, like I said. And it also makes it so you don't get knocked back as much. So, you know, if you have sprint on, you're going to get knocked because you're moving faster. So what it is, is it's slowing your movement. I think it's slowing your knockback so you can stay in close range. I'm noticing less knockback. And I think that's what Dino's saying without saying it. So of course, at this rate, I'm going to be doing crazy damage. But I'm definitely seeing an improvement on combat. You can't let people play like this, ouch. You can't let people just get out of hand like this. You gotta control them. It's a different strategy. It's part of the strategy. It's part of the game. Kind of like, you know, having to take out a Rage Blade player. So you gotta focus the airy. 11 players left, and I have 39 kills. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just go in. We're just going in. We're gonna burn them. Burning, 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 burning. Can we wipe? Can we wipe? Oh man, I'm like, heal I'm. Mean, how am I healing really fast? It's so weird. Anyone else? That's it? Oh wait, what's back here? Two left, where are the others? Oh, we won. Nice. Right when I bought an emerald sword, we won. GG's. So that tip definitely works. Thanks again to my friends and fellow YouTubers for sharing their wisdom. Don't forget to check out their channels in the description below and be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, good luck and have fun. Peace.